solo of one so I decided not to do a toe design again um, basically in the winter time most of the time I just paint my toes all over um, and wait till summer to do the nail designs because most of the time in the winter time my toes won't be out but I like to keep them painted anyway so I just paint them solid color all over so the nail polish I used on my toes this week was by clean colors it's number 143 and it's called pastel yellow and I basically painted my nails all over with this and afterwards I applied one coat of this on which is this is extremely extremely sure nail polish it's barely barely seen but it has like a little glitter in it and it's by Revlon and it's called banana blaze and I applied one coat of this over my toe and then I applied my top coat So this is the nail design we're going to be working on and for my pinky pointer finger and my thumb on this hand I painted on the same yellow nail polish that's on my toes uh, number 143 pastel yellow and afterwards I applied one coat of the banana blaze on my nail by Revlon and it darkened the nail polish just a little bit which is what I wanted um, I wanted it to be a little bit more yellow than it was so um, it gave the it changed like the shade of nail polish I mean very little but just a little bit uh, for the design we're working on which is on my middle finger we're going to do the same design that's on my ring finger actually and it is extremely simple to do um, the first thing I did was I applied one coat of this over my entire nail the sheer uh, nail polish by Revlon called Banana Blaze. I applied that over my nail, which I've done that off camera already. The next thing I did was I applied on a French manicure and I used this nail polish by Clean Colors to apply the French manicure and it's number 48 Cafe Al Latte. And I applied that just on the tip of my nails, you can see. And this nail polish is extremely, extremely pretty. I love the, the shade that it is. So next we're going to apply leopard print on the tip of my nail. And the nail polish that I'm going to use is by Clean Colors and it's number 51 and it's called Brown. And I'm just going to apply some random shapes on my nail. And I'm just going to use the nail uh, polish brush that actually came in here to do that. And this is a really pretty nail polish as well. So I'm just going to apply some random shapes on my nail. And I'm going to let that dry. And next I'm going to take some black acrylic paint in my brush. I'm just going to outline the leopard print around some of the shapes. And I'm going to draw some random black shapes in between the spaces that you see that I left. And I'm going to let that dry completely. So next I'm going to apply one of these yellow Swarovski crystals on my nail. And I'm going to use these glitters to shape it into a, a flower, like you see here. It looks like a rose. So that's basically what I'm going to do. These are just some yellow um, moon-shaped glitters. I ordered these off eBay. I don't remember the seller's name, but I ordered off eBay a while ago. And I'm going to see can I pull some of them out so you can kind of see what they are actually shaped like. You see that? They're shaped like a moon. I think the name of them was Moon or Half a Moon or something like that was the, the name of them. So this is what they're shaped like. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take those and I'm just going to apply those around the rhinestone in the shape of a rose. And I'm going to try to get close enough so you can actually see what I'm doing. But the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to apply the crystal in my nail. And we're going to be doing two flowers on your nail, on my nail, just like this finger. So I'm going to apply some clear nail polish first. And... Um, top coat my nail and then I'm going to apply the glitters on.
So you're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to apply a rhinestone on and do the same thing. it for this nail design um also i have a video on on how you can create different types of flowers using different types and sizes of rhinestones um i did the video a while ago so i'm going to go back and see can i find the link and i'll put the link in the info box so that is basically it let me know what you think and i will talk to you later youtube to then take care